Thank you very much for having invited us. I'm going to speak as one person, but the, the talk is from us, because that way it goes faster with the English. Okay. Uh, okay. 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 The first images uh, of this presentation should be seen as a report of the context in which the stele, our subject today, have been discovered. The archaeological area is one of long duration departing from 6,000 years ago till this day. The site is of an extraordinary importance and although no direct testimonies such as fragments of textiles or garments have been discovered, anthropomorphic images suggest indirect forms of textiles and or garments. After a brief presentation of the site itself, the methodology of how we try to read a textile iconography will follow. follow. July 20th, 69, many of you may remember, is the first man on the moon. June 69, the discovery of archaeological anthropomorphic stele east of the antique church of Saint Martin de Corleans, hence the name of the site. Uh, it is situated in the western outskirt of the city. The entire stratified deposit consists of a thick earthy accumulation of, a, of about four to six meters and testifies a historic evolution from the final stages of uh, uh, Neolithic to our day. <laughs> Five structural phases have been identified which depart from the ne recent Neolithic throughout the Copper Age to come to the Bronze Age. In the area now presented to the public are visible in their original position the archaeological testimonies from 4300 to 1100 BC. The first manifest, uh, um, manifest of human activity are stumped throughout the entire area uh, of the fifth millennium BC with deep plowing furrows and imprints of animal hoofs. The cultural plowing was followed by the excavation of 15 circular pits dated with the uh, carbon-14 method between 4200 to 3950 BC showing offerings such as millstones, grinders, leftover of cereal, leguminous plants and fruits. The beginning of the third millennium is characterized by the alignment oriented by northeast uh, 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 southwest acts of 24 ritual poles of large and sylvian pine interpreted at, to, as totems and more than 40 anthropomorphic stele. Dating from 2900 to 2800 BC, the anthropomorphic stele is the first demonstration of megalithism in the area. They are recognized as masterful sculptures of prehistory together with the Swiss sisters coming from the site of Le Petit Chasseur in Sion. Here we have Sion in the upper part, Aosta in the second part, and they have a lot in common. Between them is the Mont Blanc and the Monte Cervino. From the middle of the third to the first century of the second millennium, the site, which at the beginning presented itself as an open air cultural center, assumes the function of a privileged necropoly with monumental megalithic tombs like dolmen used for a collective burial. The dolmen later will be surrounded by other megalithic tombs of which of smaller size constructed using the demolished uh, anthropomorphic stele. And now follows the methodology in which we'd like to present to you five types of reading of suggestions as uh, of uh, textile possibilities. For better reading, we had to undergo uh, ma manipulation because of course they are so big that we couldn't work on the stele itself after a while so we worked with photographs 
and change them over with the usual method of uh, Photoshop, darkening them, lightening them, using contrast. This is just a few suggestions, using also photocopy and the beautiful rub-offs, new rub-offs of Gianfranco Zita. The next step was to align the group that is taken into uh, consideration today, which are Sion and Aosta, lining them up at the uh, forearm level, blowing them up or smallening them so that the forearm was the same width to get a new reading of their throughout design. After that, they were cut into pieces, virtually, obviously. <laughs> and again, you see the lining up with the red line. And so we could start documenting how many parts were in the upper part, how many parts were in the under parts, the belts, and so on. By the way, the middle stele is much bigger. Pieces have been found, so it should give new readings in future. So we did the usual catalog, cataloging of uh, uh, the different pieces. Here, the belts, or the belts. Then the, we divided it for this talk into the diamonds, into the geometric form, diamond, horizontal, and vertical, decorated diamonds, single diamonds, which also could have been belts or collars, and the triangles, triangles, singles, triangles, overlap, etc. You see, you see A and S, that's because we thought it's important to write with this study, combine the two sites. So you have Sion and Aosta. The next thing is also thanks to you all. Uh, I made a <laughs> cataloging of and show you here of the textile techniques known and they come you will recognize many of them but this is just to have a, um, a cataloging of what is available from the bronze age here we have tabby weave with selvage and the fringe border then we have the tablet weaving with different designs then we have of course twill weavings we have weft and warp floats to give design. We have sprung technique. We have all kinds of twisted cords, plated cords. We also have signs of, uh, uh, in the lower part of loop manipulation. Most likely both sides are different. Edges from the start, bands, tapes, and so on in the upper part. Then we have uh, uh, warp twining, looping and twisting, and knots. So this is a little overlook which you all know better than we. Then we started to work at the single uh, uh, pieces, and we will present four or five case history. All lines is under control. These here are to show that um, the design continues, although it is interrupted by the bow and arrow. The grid continues, so they really organize their, uh, their work very well. The next is a touch of drape, which suggests soft enough fabric to drape. Redesigning it, you see that there are four steps going up on one side which obviously is not a, 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 a fault. We set it up into a normal stele, one of the stele, and designed the lines upwards. And the whole thing could suggest maybe a drape that go over the shoulder, and therefore the lift of the lines were shown. Another stele showed a wrapping around. Sion. 15. The diamond shapes on the upper parts of the hand don't, are not symmetrical. 
lining them up in the grid pattern, you see that they cross. We don't know what's in the middle. That's not of concern here. But we see that they are not in the same angle, suggested maybe a type of wrapping of a shawl or a cloth held in place with a band, another band decoration. Then we have a myriad of possibilities of the beautiful stele from Aosta, stele 30, that shows different ways we know already that all the lines in the upper part will work up as a grid. Now let's look at that part. It's checkerboard with a design in it, with full and empty spaces that gives kind of an irregular design, but lining it up we get a sense of what the pattern could have been and maybe an idea of a double weave. That same stele shows also knives, shafts, and uh, fringes, which could be braided, could be twisted, could be leather bands weighted with other things. And the purse that many of them have, that again, the grid lines up diagonally, which suggests maybe that it could be a, a, a purse that needs to expand to fill up with grains and whatsoever. So a possibility might be, again, a textile uh, uh, technique, which is a looping technique or a sprung technique or many others. It's just the proof is here to uh, uh, try to show what could be. Then the last part is the layered look. In the lower part of the stele, underneath the hands with the belt, which also is a subject by itself, you see there are different designs in the lower part. Working it out as a complete design, we come up with the the points or the lines that usually are interrupted here with a square horizontal line here seem to overlap. Quite as if it could be overlapping. The textile thus giving maybe the sense of a layered look. Textiles one above each other. There is still a much to do. We are working at it. And uh, we thank you for now.